Here's my first cup of coffee. Oh my God. Hmm. So, uh, um, as with last Thursday, traveling, staying with a friend, and that's why I'm in the car. Because I can't, there, there, there are people inside and they're sleeping, and it's a small house. So, I did not want to disturb anyone, so I got some coffee. And I'm in the car now. It took me a ridiculous amount of time to figure out how I could sit in the car and do this. Um, I spilled a sad amount of coffee <laughs> as I relocated. I thought I had it as I was climbing into the back seat because why would I get out of the car to get into the back seat? And I was there, and then I plopped. You know what I mean when you plop and you're just like, oh, I got this, bam. Coffee doesn't plop well. Um, fortunately, I have napkins, and I cleaned it up. <sighs> so, um, the original inspiration for this, for this show, goes way back. goes back several years. Um, you may be familiar with Jerry Seinfeld's, now on Netflix, I believe it started on YouTube, Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. After the first episode, which, which was with uh, Mr. Brennan Goodall, where I think we ended up titling it Conversations with, and I've done one with um, Mr. Paul Milholan. I think those are the only two Conversations episodes. I'm not awake yet, so if I've missed one, I apologize, especially if I'm offending anyone. <laughs> but... I had this kind of satirical idea of what would that show look like when instead of comedians it was martial artists but I don't have access to the cars that Jerry does so it was not going to be the same so that was kind of it it was going to be like martial artists in cars talking about martial arts especially since I don't think Brennan drinks coffee. We've never had coffee together. That's weird. I should know that. Oh well. Um, rocking my... Oh, can I do this without spilling coffee? Oh wait, the phone's mobile. <laughs> my double X was looking... Oh, no, the phone's crooked. You ever have one of those days where you're fairly certain it's just you're just gonna have a meltdown. I think I'm gonna have a meltdown today. So I'm traveling because I'm heading to this this um, corporate training kind of deal on on hiring people. Because <laughs> I am historically poor at that. And as we transition into this new phase, I may have to hire some people. I think I, I don't know if I want to. You know, one of the ironic things about this show is that I've set it up to be very unfiltered and yet being tired in the morning, waking up with a cup of coffee is a filter in and of itself. If I did this show in the afternoon or in the evening with the things that I think about during the day, with the things that go on, it is entirely possible that this would be 10 minutes of me complaining and, and crying over the air. Um, and I'll probably get there. You know, when I set this up, it was about accountability, but, you know, I was, I was committed to being authentic. And this crap is hard. You know, we don't, we don't talk about this. We don't talk about this too much. We don't talk about things that are hard in society. We don't talk about the fact that... Um, I've decided I can take on multiple international multi multi million dollar companies. We we don't talk about it, but let's face it, that's that's what I'm doing or trying to do. 
um, there there are plenty of um, plenty of things I'm not gonna say about that, but I know we can do better, and that brings challenges, you know, to try and upset the apple cart to to believe that you could do something better than the mainstream is already doing it. You know, and, and that's, I think in a sense, that's a very martial arts belief. How many martial arts schools, how many styles started because someone was training and said, you know, I could do better. What about this? You know, and that's where, that's where Whistle Kick started. <laughs> I have so many ideas. So many ideas. Like, I have a Excel sheet of ideas. Some of which are little things. Like, um, here's an example of one I can share. If you order Whistle Kick sparring gear right now, you don't get any tags. You know, like if you buy clothing in a store, there are going to be tags on it. We should have tags. One of those tags should be a sticker. We should take some of the most important information about taking care of your gear, which currently goes out on uh, like a postcard, like a four by six card. That should be on the tag. Could be even a tag. You ever, you ever get the tag where it's like a little book? Like the world's smallest book. We should do stuff like that. And then there are, are ideas that are so big, so out of left field that I don't have, have anything close with them right now. It's raining. It's okay. This training is really early. Oh. I'm looking all over the screen. I'm in my vehicle. Would you like a tour of my car? Where the heck am I going to put this coffee? All right. I'm putting the coffee down by my feet. And when I can't find it, tell me. There's someone watching live, which is such a trip to me that people are awake this early. Unless it's someone from the UK. <laughs> All right. Um, can I flip that? Yes. So here we are. I am in the back seat of the. 2017 Toyota 4Runner. This is this is it. It has black interior, which gets very warm. That's a cooler of things. That's my laptop. That's a can of Fix-A-Flat. That's my med kit, that orange thing. And and that there's a poncho and some trash bags. And a, and another poncho. Why do I have two ponchos? That doesn't need to be here. That's ridiculous. Oh, this is, okay. Is There's a minute and a half left and then I'm gonna go. All right, but that is the perfect anecdote for my life. So, I take a step back, I look at something from a different perspective. Hey, we just found our hook, cool. I look at something from a different perspective and realize, oh my God, there are things that need to be done here. I need, to take one of these ponchos out and put it in my other car. I have a, a summer car, a little sports car kind of thing. No, it's a sports car. It's basically an orange go-kart. Anyway, um, one of those should go in there, but not the orange one, because that would be too on the nose. And that's what tends to happen. I tend to see two viewers, two live people. Wow. Uh, I, three. Oh, this is insanity. Good morning, Brian. Um, I tend to see the world in a, in a bit of a different way when I take a step back, and I think we can all do that. So that is my challenge to you today, is to take a step back and look at some of the most important things going on in your life and see how can you do them differently. If you had them to do over again, if you started from zero now, what would your actions look like? because you have that opportunity. Maybe you don't have the opportunity to completely hit the reset button, more people, but you have the opportunity to 
set a change. Good morning, Mike. You have the opportunity to change your path. You can't do anything about the past, but take a look at where you're headed. And if it doesn't make sense, change the direction. So I didn't forget where my coffee was, so that's cool. All right. Find at least one thing today that you can look at, that you can take a step back from and consider if it should be done differently. That's all I got. I will see you tomorrow. Peace.